Hello Glamour Ghouls and welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Midge Munster and on this channel we do all things campy, kooky, glamorous, and spooky. If you are a long timer here on the channel, you are probably excited to see me sitting in my car because you know what that means. It is officially decor season and I'm very excited to be back out here again showing you what is already in stores in June. I know that we are going to see Halloween today because I've actually already been out uh, once by myself earlier this week. I had been a little bit uncertain about whether or not I was going to continue to make these type of videos this year. I've been really reevaluating my relationship to consumerism and being cognizant and mindful of the things that I bring into my home. I'm certain that you've noticed I've been refocusing a lot of my energy on curating and finding vintage and antique pieces and giving them a second life with me. That has been so much fun. And speaking of which, I do want to take a moment and just thank you all so much for your positive reception of the coffin table. To be frank with you, I was very nervous putting that video out because I knew it wouldn't be for everybody and I was worried that my audience might think it's a little too morbid or I don't know. I, I thought maybe it might not be very well received, but you all have been uh, so kind and it's always just really um, wonderful when I get the opportunity to share something with you that I am really excited about and you meet me in that space. It just it makes my day. So thank you for that. But that's besides the point. I just have been really enjoying uh, making things and kind of where my content has been going. And I didn't know if I wanted to continue to invest time and resources and, and energy into making these decor hunting videos. But then you all started kind of coming out of the woodwork for the year and being like, Midge, when are the videos going to start? Midge, when are we going to do the decor hunting? And talking to you all reminded me why these videos are important and that they do bring value and add value to your lives as well to get to see what's in stores and curate and decide what's right for you. And so I am going to be doing less of them this year. I'm planning on doing one large episode per month up to Halloween. There will probably be less hauls because I'm just at a place in my collection where I don't need to be bringing as many things into my home. I'm going to try to keep a, a pared down <laughs> budget this year and really uh, only bring in pieces that I have a specific use for. But I do still want to, you know, document what is out here and share that with you so that you can decide what you want to get this Halloween season. So with all of that being said, I am currently at At Home. This is where I went by myself the other day and you may have seen on Instagram, I posted a couple shots of the shelves in my stories. Uh, but at the time they still had a lot of boxes on the shelves that weren't unpacked yet. So I went out of town for the weekend, went to a really cool Haunted America conference in Alton, Illinois with my other Halloween friends. That vlog is going to be up on Patreon. So if that's something you're interested in seeing, be sure to check that out as well. But now that I am back in town, I'm going to go back to at home here and see if the shelves are a little more fully stocked. And then I also want to check Joanne today because I'm seeing a lot of fully stocked Joannes online. Also seeing a lot of Big Lots putting out stuff, which is crazy early for Big Lots and Joanne. Those are usually uh, after back to school time retailers at home we're used to seeing this early but I have never seen Joanne this early so uh, if we get lucky and see some Joanne today that would be very exciting as well so let's head into at home and see what they have on their shelves this just caught me so off guard hello papa Okay, we've got quite a boneyard going. I've seen a lot of people posting this cute little Frankenstein skelly boy. Little bunny. Another dog. A spider. Looks like we've got a dragon and an octopus. Lots of options. And we have a variety of skeleton sizes, including this eight foot boy. Some different birds. And a teddy bear. <laughs> so 
So do you remember last year's tip when I told you to always check the entire store when you're looking for Halloween this early? Mine was in the very back, so it's not in the holiday stuff. The 4th of July stuff is still fully out, so be sure you take a lap around your whole store and check. Because there's the front of my store. And here's the Halloween, hidden. <laughs> Got some Nightmare Before Christmas, a little stack of Jack Skellingtons, and I've seen a few of you posting this Zero Blow Mold guy, 1999. Got some of these vintage style trees, ghost topper, bat topper, and then no topper. We've also got an orange and black version down here with a jack o' lantern on top. And of course, the big fella has re-entered the chat. I will say, um, this was full last week, so grab these if you want them. We've got all of our different little decorative foam pumpkin basket bundles. Lots of different doormats. Let me see if I can grab some of these. This is a personal favorite this year. Uh, my neighbors didn't already hate me enough. <laughs> I may end up getting this one. It's really cute. Little happy Halloween with ghosts. The dancing skeletons. Got some very spooky heads in this enter if you dare. You know, my favorite thing this time of year to do it at home is to check these tags. Ah, there we go. Erie Estate. So Erie Estate is the collection that this is a part of, which means we're probably going to get a red and black kind of haunted-y, haunted mansion-y vibe. Oh, I know this guy's been really popular online too, this little blow mold-esque kitty cat. $14.99, pretty good price. At home is one of the few places that I feel like isn't just skyrocketing their prices. <laughs> Got a little candy witch and a vampire. This is very cutesy, which I don't dislike. Not my personal style for Halloween decor, but if you've got kiddos and you like to do kind of creepy cute, this is definitely a fun little line for that. Ah, oh, they've got my little ghosty back. This was what I first thing I bought, I think last year, um, and he lives in my studio now. I think he's so precious. <laughs> Cute little bat and candy corn patterned pumpkins. Some little jacks. And of course, we've got some y alternative. Someone must be buying this because it keeps coming back. <laughs> this year it's homespun Halloween rather than Halloween hoedown. Little bandana print. Boo y'all. Y'all know I never want to yuck somebody's yum but I'm not the target audience <laughs> for this particular uh, line of Halloween decor. We've got some like palette pumpkins and of course the gnomes, the gnomes. We've also got like a tiny little animatronic skeleton guy playing a harmonica, which I kind of think is hilarious. <laughs> this little haunted pumpkin patch wagon is cute. This is surprisingly part of the witch magic line, which I feel like this aligns more with this kind of, you know, country pumpkin patch vibe, but it's pretty cute. Then we get into this purple, black, and blue witch line, which I think a lot of my people <laughs> are going to really enjoy. Got a cute little witch's boot candle holder for $9.99. I had to come back. I can't believe I almost missed these guys, so... This was my first purchase this year. I got this little guy. They are $7.99. And I think they're already out of his counterpart because it was right here. Um, but I have it in the car, so I'll show you when we get done in here. I got this little candle holder. That's very cute. Little owl in a witch hat. $9.99. I feel like my mom's going to like this. I'm a crystal collecting, tarot reading, moon admiring kind of girl. That's true, I am. <laughs> but I don't need a sign to tell you that. Y'all have seen my house. <laughs> we always see these little signs that say like a real witch lives here with her little monsters. 
Um, the other day I saw a sign that said a witch and her grumpy old toad live here. <laughs> and I feel like Taylor and I really need that. Again, we're already missing something that I bought last week. There's a very cute mushroom. I'll have to show you in the car. But we've got this pretty black, black and gold pumpkin. I actually really kind of like that moon. That's fun. There's a purple and silver version. This one kind of uh, reminds me of like the stereotypical wizard costume that you would get at like a Halloween store when you were a kid. The cloak and hat for that. Also got some kind of galaxy. Oh, I thought they would be foam, but they are ceramic. That's nice. Little galaxy pumpkins. Beautiful palmistry hand. I do. I am just a sucker for like hand decor. I think it's really, really pretty. Got this little moon dust potion bottle. And these cute candles that light up. They've got spider webs on them, so you know, I'm a sucker for anything with a spider web. I think these are pretty well done, pretty cool. We also have a little kitty witch. This is the outfit I was talking about that you would buy at a Halloween shop. I like uh, her little like pentacle on her forehead, very cute, $20. Also just got some plastic cauldrons, some sparkly little trees, and a sign. Okay, so, success um honestly i'm kind of shocked i feel like it was less well stocked today than it was like four days ago so that i mean is just confirmation that we continue to see bonkers uh levels of excitement and you know almost this <laughs> this panic to like buy immediately like I mentioned, a couple things that I bought a few days ago are out of stock already, it would seem. I'm sure they'll get more at some point, I would think. But I figured since I couldn't show you in the store, I would show you now in the car. So I showed you this little guy. Um, I got this. This was my, my first little purchase of the year. But he also has a little companion. This guy. <laughs> I just think they're so precious. Happy Pride Month to these two. These remind me very much if you follow Grandin Road, if that's something you check out every year. Um, if you're not familiar, Grandin Road is an online-only retailer, but they do a big Halloween Haven kind of release each year. Their stuff is expensive! And so <laughs> I, they have a, kind of a, a collection of these types of pumpkins that have like really graphic like weird little faces and I've always wanted some but they've in the past been out of my price range and I think they're quite a bit larger than these but um these scratched an itch I've had for a long time to just have some like grumpy little pumpkins laying around I'm I'm excited about those I'm very into anything like anthropomorphic where you know little plants come to life or anything like that which is why the other thing I got that they were also out of now in that witch line is this little mushroom guy. I think he's so precious. I love the eye. It's, I don't know if it's reading because of the sun, um, but the, the cap is iridescent. It's like really, a really pretty silver purple color shift with like a gold, what do you call that? Like leafing around the edge. It's got good texture under here. This was $6.99. But yeah, I really, really liked this when I saw it online and I wanted to grab it. And now I'm glad I did because it's gone. See, this is the one thing I hate about Halloween decor stuff because I feel like like I'm the problem. We're creating this insanity to like panic buy things. But again, I just think this is very cute. And as you know, my intent is to go back to uh, Woods Witch in the dining room this year. And so I thought having a couple more little anthropomorphic plant type things would be a fun addition. So definitely Code Orange at at home. Um, I've seen it in Tennessee, Georgia, Chicagoland area. I'm trying to think where else. I think like the Carolinas I've seen some. Um, so KC area, obviously. Those are the ones I know for sure where I've seen stuff. Um, so go check your at home. Definitely worth it at this point. I am now at Joanne. I am cautiously optimistic. I know we're at least going to see some fabric. I've already bought some fabric this year, <laughs> um, but I don't know if we'll see decor yet in Kansas City, but it's certainly worth a try. So let's head in and see what they've got. Okay, 
big fat no on the decor front. The only thing I found <laughs> are these little like wood signs that are paintable. That's all she wrote, which honestly I'm kind of relieved. I feel like seeing Joanne this early would stress me personally out because I don't know. I feel like it's ha it's happening too fast this year. <laughs> Does anyone else feel that? Is anyone else feeling the like the like wait, <laughs> slow down? <laughs> um, but I'm gonna walk over and let's take a look at some fabric options. Okay, so in the flannels we've got some of Johnny Yannick's fabric, still print from last year. I I just love his Jack Lantern designs. I think they're the best. Um, his husband commented last year on my channel and said that they were watching. So Johnny, if by chance you're still watching, I love your designs so much. This is really fun. I like the dark Jack Lantern faces with the yellow. Some cute little pink ghosties. Oh, this is a really nice spider web fabric. I love that it has little leaves in it. $9.99 yard. I like the kind of cream color too. Again, this is a flannel, so probably wouldn't use it for clothing, but I like that. Oh, I also really like this. Bots with little spider webs in the trees, and there's little tiny pops of orange in there. That is so cute. Or like this one with kind of cats and spider webs and trees. There's little bats hanging upside down. Ugh, I wish these were in a cotton. I really like those. I like the color too, that it's more of a cream than a stark white. Another really good bold spider web print. What do you guys make with flannel? Honest question, besides like pajama bottoms. Cuz um oh my god, I didn't even see this one. Look at this. Oh, I love who's this designer? Doesn't have the artist's name. Oh my gosh. I love this like sketchy Ugh. Dang. Hopefully they get these in a cotton because I really, really like these. So in the way of cottons, this was the fabric that I've already gotten this year. Um, some of you may have seen me post about it on Instagram. I made a little skirt out of it. I really, really love this like neon green and dark purple combination. Something I don't think we get enough of in Halloween decor. Um, so cute though. And I'll, I'll have to show you all the skirt I made. I really love it. Also excited to see that they brought this glow-in-the-dark skeleton fabric back. I bought like a yard of this last year and honestly I need more of it because I was going to make a little blouse and I didn't get enough. So um, probably grab another yard or two of that while I'm here. Got some fun kind of tie-dye spider webs. It's a pretty good little spider web print. I, again, I wish that I had something that wasn't stark white like that. I guess I could dye it. This is a cute kind of vintagey Halloween postcard label looking. I like the spiders and webs, obviously. Overall, though, not a ton yet. Got some little bats up there, some ghosts. I was really hoping to find, um, y'all know Penny, my Ghoul's Night Inn co-host. She found a really pretty, like it's cotton, but it has kind of lace with bats that have wings that look like lace. I was really hoping to find some of that today. Uh, nothing yet, but here's hoping. <laughs> some more really fun flannel prints. I love this little witchy one, that's cute. Another good little spider web guy. Those owls, those are from last year, so are those witches. A lot of this, I think, is stuff that's still in stock from last year. I've got some really good, um, like, thick fleece, too, if you're looking to make one of those tie blankets or something. The skull one with the orange pops on the spiders and the webs in the background is fun. Got some little ghosts. 
Also this kind of black and pink and orange tarot print, which I really like. I'm living for all this like pink witchy, like girly pop tarot <laughs> stuff we're seeing. So fun. Oh, I made a trip over to Floral and we've got a spooky garland and some black wreaths. Some like dark stuff happening here, but also look at this box. This looks like it's fresh coming out. Oh, these branches have little bats that are smiling. <laughs> Okay, so Joanne definitely has some fabric out, a little bit of floral. Like I said, I know, I know we all get excited to see Halloween, but there was a part of me that when I walked in there and there was nothing was relieved. <laughs> I just feel like if everything's out in June, what are we going to have to look forward to? You know, like I don't want it to be all fast and furious and that it feels like Halloween is over by the time we get to August. Look how cute this little sticker is. Zombie Lounge made this for me. It says Midge in the Barbie font. She also made me Midge earrings to wear to see the Barbie movie. And then this little ghost cupie with the jack-o'-lantern balloon is from KK, the Crystal Sloth, which uh, she's the one who made the Nosferatu doll that I showed in my Q&A video. I, I love her stuff and she sent me a little cupie ghost. <laughs> so I think now I'm kind of wondering, should we pop to the, there's a savers right here. Should we see if we can find like some thrift Halloween? What do you think? Yeah. Why not? Let's do it. Y'all have been asking me for thrift Halloween and I honestly haven't done it because I thought that no one would actually be interested in seeing that, but I'll, enough people have asked for it now that I think, I think we should uh, just try it out, see what happens. So let's pop in here. Got some cute little bowls. Jack-o'-lantern tea light holder. <laughs> I like his little candy corn. giant jack-o'-lantern. I'm assuming that's a, like a fake candle? Yeah. Oh, this is actually cool. A lantern with these witches around the cauldron for $4.99. That's pretty cool. What am I looking at here? Is this a, a jack-o'-lantern onion saver? <laughs> I have so many questions. A little pumpkin tea light. And another little jack-o'-lantern holder. And a couple signs, a psychic sign, and a like pick your poison with some poison bottles. These look like they're probably originally from Dollar Tree. Also, I am not certain what's happening here, but I think it's maybe the most fun thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Actually, wait, $4.99. I think this is the type of pumpkin that I need. I'm actually gonna get this. Hold on, I'll explain in the car. Okay, I found a second one of those witch lanterns on the candle side. Thrift stores are such a great place to look for, like, candle holders and pedestals and things to create layers in your decor and they're really really cheap like how cool would this be in a vampire room for $2.99 you would pay nine or ten bucks for that at a normal store also look at all these led candle options for like a dollar or two each these are so useful to creating like ambiance in your space are also LED. Definitely check your candle sections. Some orange ones. Okay. Whew. I'm so sorry if it's loud, but I have to have the air on. It is so hot. Okay, so Savers ended up being kind of a score in this way. Um, so you saw this 
strange, bizarre little cat pumpkin. I kind of love them, honestly. They're serving. This one's name is Goose. And Goose has what appears to be a Gemini sign. So I know Goose and I would get along because I'm a Gemini moon. I love Geminis. <laughs> anyway, the reason I bought this is not for um, Goose and Goose's friend, unfortunately, though I do love them. It's because this is a hard type of pumpkin to acquire. It's this like foamy, dense pumpkin that has this vinyl exterior. If you're a member of my Patreon and you joined for the, was it the April Live where we test ran a technique on this type of pumpkin for my outdoor decor this year. Um, I was only able to find very small ones online to do that test on and I have yet to be able to find a big pumpkin to do that with. Unfortunately, one of the main retailers for these types of things is Hobby Lobby and I do not shop with Hobby Lobby. So it's proved to be very difficult for me to find uh, this type of pumpkin anywhere else in a large size. So this is just craft paint. So I think either rubbing alcohol or like, I don't know, I think something will be able to take this off as much as I hate to <laughs> erase their beauty. But worst case scenario, if it doesn't come off, I can always just use this side of the pumpkin to carve the face into and then do the, the melting technique. Basically what we're doing is I am trying to create a haunted pumpkin patch in my yard as part of a Sleepy Hollow display. And I want all these like gnarled, rotted looking jack-o'-lanterns that look very like spooky and menacing. And you can do a really cool technique with these foam interior pumpkins where you use a heat gun to melt them in on themselves and they just look uber spooky. So I'm very excited that I found a nice big one and for $4.99, I mean, y'all know, pumpkins are expensive for like absolutely no reason. <laughs> So that was a score. I feel really excited about that. And I feel excited to try to make a, a, a large scale jack-o'-lantern like the ones we tested on Patreon. Because I, I learned a lot during that test of the small ones and the technique is very cool. So I think uh, if we can get a bunch of these big ones and take what we learned from that and make a bunch of them, it's gonna look sick. <laughs> So I feel like that was a win. That was exciting. Thanks for everybody um, pushing me to go to thrift stores and look for decor. Much obliged. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was just pulling out of the parking lot and I had to like sweep in and stop. Look at this. This person has a Sam in their window. <laughs> that is so cute. Oh, uh, if by chance you are a subscriber, hello, kindred spirit. This is so freaking cute. Where do I get one? I love this. That just made my whole day. I had literally just called Taylor to see if he wanted lunch. And I was like, I'm gonna have to call you back. <laughs> Cause I saw that Sam as I was pulling out. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> oh, that like seriously just made my entire day. I love spotting fellow spookies in the wild. Anyway, okay, onward. I think, um, so Taylor and I are going out to my in-laws tonight for dinner and they are quite a ways out towards the old time pottery that takes me 500 years to get to. Um, and I'm pretty sure they have stuff out now. So I might do old time pottery tonight because if I'm gonna be out that way, we might as well. Cause I never, I never want to drive out there to check it out and like have the possibility that they don't have anything interesting because it's a long heckin' drive and there's nothing like no other stores out there to look at. So it's like a, an ordeal if we go out there, but I'm also tempted to go to big lots just because that's the other place I've been seeing people post from. I don't know. I'm gonna go check my P.O. box and then we'll decide if we're going to Big Lots or not. If not, we might just end with old time pottery and that'll be the June episode. <laughs> okay, so I did end up popping by Big Lots, but they had absolutely nothing. So we're just gonna kinda skip past that and we're gonna head to old time pottery. 
But before we do, I also wanted to mention because today Spirit Halloween dropped some news, some Code Orange news about a bunch of new animatronics coming their way. Lots of new animatronics coming our way this fall and I'm really excited. You may have already seen, I did a um, unboxing of the PR box they sent a while back on Instagram, and actually the next video you'll see on the channel, I will be showing that PR box as well, but that unveiled their new cemetery line that they're doing, Spirit Hallows Cemetery, that they're doing all these gorgeous new tombstones for 2023. I'm obsessed with the cemetery stuff. It's so good. But then today they also just dropped this animatronics announcement and there are two things I'm really excited about. First of all, the Crypt Keeper is back and I'm really excited to see him. That is, that's a really old spirit animatronic uh, that they haven't done since like the early 90s, I want to say, late 90s. I don't know. I'll put the old one here and what date it came out. I don't remember, but they haven't done that in a long time. So I'm really excited to see him coming back for the, the nostalgia factor. But the other one I'm really excited about is this like pumpkin pillar thing. It's only like three or four feet tall, but the pumpkin like opens up and has all these like guts and it screams. Again, we're going for a spooky, sleepy hollow vibe in my yard this year. And while I'm trying really hard to make a lot of my props, I think these would be a really, really cool addition. So I'm excited about that. If you haven't already, definitely head over to Spirit Halloween's website and see all the new animatronics coming this fall. Very exciting stuff. And we just keep getting more and more cool news. It's definitely like we're in the full swing of things starting to happen for Halloween. Very exciting. All right, let's head out and go to Old Time Pottery. I'll see you there. Got some fun raven stuff. $14.99 for this candle holder. I actually really like these. Baths. These are super fun. <laughs> Got a skull with one of his eyes picked out by this raven. Oh, I also like this bat welcome sign. These are one of the things I've had my eye on. These are $9.99 little bat candle pedestals. I think those are super fun. <laughs> okay, these are actually pretty funny. I like these little gnomes. We've got a candle slash maybe like a crystal ball if you had like a crystal orb or something holder. Some cute little fellows in a car. Happy Pride Month, you two. Some little puppy dogs in costume. <laughs> I really like this toad. He's so dapper. Oh, these are cool pedestals. A witch hat, but it's a candle holder. I like those because they're pretty tall. You could definitely get some good height for different decorations with those. Get some different little wood placard type signage. Some little filler trees that have bats and glitter. Those are $9.99. Some little witch hats. And they've got up some of their banners and things, and many of you will be excited to know that the Witch is In sign has returned. I know a lot of people were looking for that a couple years ago or last year. Uh, it is back. $29.99, and it does light up. I have this, and I really, really like it. It's also got a fun Enter If You Dare coffin shaped sign. These wreaths and garlands are what I think of when I think of old time pottery, like starting their Halloween decor. <laughs> this is always the first thing out every year. These and this puppy dog, they have him every year. Ooh, 
Oh my gosh. Got some pink and purple Halloween. That's fun. Oh, I'm gonna have to get a little pink jack lantern for my studio. Honestly, the texture on this snake pumpkin is really nice. Really pretty. Got a good sheen to it. And for 15 bucks, not bad. I had my eye on these online. I think the moth is pretty cool. It's a little, I don't know, it's a little more like gaudy in person than I thought it would be. I thought it'd be a little bit richer looking. They're not terrible by any means. I could probably jazz them up. But very cottage witch, very fun. Got some napkins and party plates. Oh, these are fun. Eek. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Got some different pillows, little skeletons dancing, a raven, just a good old jack-o'-lantern boo. Got witch please, and it's just a bunch of hocus pocus. Ooh, kind of like this trick or treat. Cool font, and I like the spider web, of course. <laughs> and we've got I put a spell on you. And some little witchy boots, some yard stake signs, and of course our little spooky mingos that we see every year. I think these are so precious. Oh my gosh, this big guy, he's kind of plushy. He's got wire legs, but his butt's plush. So cute. Got some doormats, little peanuts, happy Halloween, cauldron. Some kitty cats. <laughs> this one's kind of fun. He's really dapper. I like his top hat. Also got some good options for creepy cloth or freaky fabric, as they're calling it. I like the green. Three bucks. I usually get this at the dollar store, but I feel like the green could be a really good option for my kind of woodsy witch stuff. I might grab a couple of those just to have them. And we've got some spooky hanging boys. I think this witch is pretty cool. She's got a very spooky face. Got a creepy little kind of scarecrow jack-o'-lantern guy. And Donald Trump. I didn't see this guy before. He's cute. Little street lamp. Lights up. Oh, that's pretty cute. That reminds me of something my mom had when I was a kid. 1999. Ugh, oh, look at him. Precious. Okay, so we're back home. It's the next day, and I think we had a very successful day. Uh, I was gonna show you the couple things I did pick up at Old Time Pottery. I did grab a couple of these green creepy cloth, or <laughs> freaky fabric, as they're calling it. I don't know if the term creepy cloth is... Uh, patented <laughs> or trademark um, but I just really liked this dingy like moss color and I mean I know you could dye white creepy cloth but I just thought this would be really really good for this upcoming dining room season for the witch layer and uh, I mean at $2.99 a pop that's totally worth it to just grab a couple and then I did go ahead and get two of these bat candle pedestals. I just think they're really cute and I'm always looking for good pedestals to, you know, set jack-o'-lanterns on or candles or skulls or other decor just to create levels in decor that changes the space so quickly when you add that dimension and I'm always looking for cool pieces to achieve that so I thought these were really really good and they were just 10 bucks a piece which I feel like is um not too bad at all considering you know what michaels would charge for something like this i'm sure <laughs> so that is my little mini haul and our first official decor hunt of 2023 i hope you all enjoyed this video if you did be sure to subscribe to the channel before you leave today we have a lot more coming your way this halloween season i'm very excited to share with you also like i mentioned i will have a vlog up this week of my time at the haunted america conference in alton illinois that will be available to patrons over on patreon only so if you are interested in 
joining my Patreon, check that out at the link in the description box below. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and until next time, keep it campy, kooky, glamorous, and spooky. Bye!